that Bitcoin is digital property on an open monetary network. And that's pretty profound because it's going to spread to billions of people around the planet. Bitcoin is not used in day-to-day -day transactions for all practical purposes. Our investors told us the cash was trash. It was a liability on our balance sheet. Bitcoin and all the cryptos is highly speculative asset. We've all been waiting for uh, inflation. I think we're seeing it right now. I think investors are saying that Bitcoin's up 330% and gold's up 7% in that period. So Bitcoin is outperforming gold as an inflation hedge by a factor of 50. Because it's very, it's very risky. It's just a risky speculative asset. It is not a currency. It's a very risky speculative asset. Between you and me, I'm surprised they're not increasing their allocation by a factor of 10 because Bitcoin's 50 times better. Its fundamental value is zero. Mm -hmm. So Bitcoin will face competition and will eventually see its value be driven down considerably over where it is right now. Bitcoin is, is the highest, most dominant digital property network. Think of it as like granite blocks in Manhattan, in cyber Manhattan. They're mainly worthless assets. Mm -hmm. Look at the Bolivar in Venezuela. That, that's a highly speculative asset. Bitcoin is meant to last forever, high integrity, very durable. Where, wherever you have parallel markets, where you have an official exchange rate and a black market exchange rate, you know the currency is a highly speculative asset.